Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Shipmate app and CruiseLine.com. Shipmate app just rolled out a new feature where you can write a comprehensive review about all aspects of your cruise directly in the app. Just launch the app, click My Cruises, select your sailing, and start your review. I'm hiding behind my shame. <laughs> Welcome to yet another pack with me. This one's gonna be a little different, guys, because this time, the big daddy is going. That's right, <laughs> we're not doing carry-on only. Well, I'm not doing carry-on only for this next cruise. The Mr. Cruise Tubes TV and Junior are totally going with our regular minimalist approach. I just felt like because we're driving to port, I wanted a break. I'm gonna overpack, I'm gonna take lots of dresses, I'm gonna take some extra shoes, some extra accessories, some extra workout clothes, and I'm just gonna have fun with it. So yes, that big suitcase is coming. Now, if you want a carry-on only approach, we have loads of carry-on only packing videos, so be sure that you go check those out. And if you wanna see everything fully packed in the suitcases, as well as see our shoes, stay to the very end, because we're not gonna do that right now together. That would just take too much time. Instead, we're gonna kinda of do a more granular look today at the stuff we're packing. I'm gonna go pretty deep on the stateroom essentials, the toiletries, and things like that. So let's get started and take a look at what we're packing. The first thing I should tell you guys is, as you know, this is a princess cruise. So we just got our medallions. We did a whole video on how to get ocean ready, but in case you wanna know what the box looks like with the medallions, it looks like this. And your medallions are all nicely tucked in there with instructions and all that good stuff. So we're very excited to be using that technology on this cruise. We're going to be ordering drinks from wherever we are on the ship. We're going to be locating each other. We're gonna have keyless entry into our room. It's gonna be super cool. So that's one thing that we're packing. Let's get into some stateroom essentials and accessories. I wanna show you guys the mesh bags that I'm packing with this time. These are a really pretty set of three Isaac Mizrahi bags. These are really hard to find, so if you ever see them in the travel section at places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross, pick up a set because they come and go, and I can't seem to find them online. Let's talk about what is inside of them. In the little mesh bag here, I have some motion sickness bands. These little C bands right here that I always take along. These go on your wrist and use a pressure point. I have a... And this is the kind of stuff that's like extra, right? That I'm taking that, if I didn't have a lot of space, I wouldn't take. I'm taking a waterproof cell phone case. Not necessarily for my cell phone, but in case we go snorkeling or get in the water somewhere, I can actually put my medallion, my cash, my credit cards in this and take it with me. So I don't really use it for my phone, interestingly enough. That has a wrist strap. And then a good old Cruise Tips TV magnet that we can use to clip paper. So that's what's in the little bag and I'll show you what's in the medium bag. Like I said, today we're getting kind of granular. We're gonna really talk about the little nitty gritty details. In this one, I have my luggage tags, uh, luggage tag holders. These are plastic holders with zipper tops in case it rains. We do have some rain in the forecast for next week, so you never know. I have a Sharpie in there is also a highlighter pen and some sticky notes and a little travel alarm clock. So I really like bigger sticky notepads about this size for us. Um, it just works a little bit better when we're leaving notes for each other. So that's what's in that one. I'm gonna zip it back up and then I'm gonna show you what is in the larger mesh bag. So this is the big daddy of the mesh bag set. And in here we have a Ziploc bag full of Santa hands. And of course I'm gonna link to as much of this stuff as I can in the description below. Uh, these are for washing your hands when you don't have a sink nearby. They're alcohol-based. They're great when you cannot get to a sink. I've got a little tiny kit here of med medicinal things. So we've got pain reliever, cold medicine, pain reliever for our son, cough drops, band-aids, stera strips, and some antibiotic ointment in here in case we need it. Let's hope we don't. And you gotta have lash strips, ladies. So that's where I put my lash strips. I do have a makeup bag coming up soon. But that is it for the mesh bags. I'm just gonna place these on the floor here to get things out of the way. 
So how are we doing so far? Everybody hanging in there? Is, hopefully this is interesting. Um, the next thing I'm packing is a travel backpack. You've seen this one before. We have this in our Amazon store. This is an Oryxon travel backpack. This is also going to double as my pre-cruise bag. So we're staying in a hotel the night before our cruise and this is where I'm going to put a packing cube full of the clothing that we'll wear for that night in the hotel and some of the things that we might need for embarkation day. So we're gonna be using that kind of twice. And then next we have here the famous trusty, you've seen it before, the e-bags packet flat toiletry bag that I love. It fits beautifully in the suitcase. It just lays flat, kind of like a skinny packing cube, and it holds a ton of stuff. This is another area where I will be totally up front with you guys. I'm over packing toiletries. I just, because we're not flying, I'm just not worried about it. So this will hang right on the towel rack or the back of our stateroom door, and it has a ton of stuff in it, from toothbrush, toothpaste, to razor, soap, deodorant, you name it. It is in this bag or in one of these little pouches. I love it and I can't get enough of it. Next up, a good old baseball cap for me. Junior and Mr. Cruise Tips TV's baseball hats are already packed, so I'm not gonna show those to you, but I'm taking them. Okay, let's take a deeper look at toiletries today. I'm gonna give you kind of a look inside my TSA bags. I'm not flying, I don't need TSA bags, but I've grown to love these because they're clear and they're so easy to pack into and you really get a lot in them. They're very supportive and they're kind of square. So I'm gonna tell you what's inside of my toiletry bags. This one has some sesame oil from Neutrogena, some sunscreen stick for our faces, shampoo, conditioner, uh, face oil, face sunscreen, and a little teeny tiny splurge in here of bath oil. We have a bathtub in our mini suite on Princess. So I splurged and I'm taking a little bit of bath oil. I also have some sample packets of shampoo and conditioner that I've had sitting around that I've never tried, and it's such a good way to try new brands of shampoo and conditioner, so I'm taking those with me. I also have some lip moisturizer, a very old little bottle of Moroccan oil, and I actually have a second toiletry bag. This one has some shampoo. These are actually from a previous cruise. My perfume, this is Bobbi Brown Beach. I'll link to it if I can. Uh, edge shaving cream for my husband. This is his favorite sensitive skin brand. Some hair gel for my son. And then the boys have a little cologne and a little men's body wash there that they really like. I have a bar of Dove soap that I get in the Target sample aisle that is actually in my, um, my e-bags packet flat. So we take a bar of soap, but the boys, I thought they could use a little manly smelling shower gel. So this little bin that you see right here is actually the bin that I keep in my closet with a lot of my travel supplies in it. I've never shown this to you before, but I thought I would bring it out today because it makes it kind of the in-between cruises time a little bit less stressful when you can just keep everything in one place and pull it out. You don't have to worry so much about busting out the old packing list for everything because you can just leave it in there. So let's go through what's in this bin and what I kind of leave in the bin. First up, this is a passport neck wallet that has our passports and these are actually our luggage tags that we're going to put affixed to our luggage the day of the cruise. I also keep a pen in here. It's actually supposed to be over here in the little pen holder, so I'll move it. Right here, I usually have a few business cards, things like that. And then in the back, I always put some small bills for tipping the porter and things like that. Did I just find Junior's global entry card, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? No, but I found mine. We, we lost Junior's global entry card on our last flight. You're not supposed to travel with them. Of course, we, we did. And we just can't seem to find it. And I thought I had found it, but it's not in there. How sad. Anyway, here we go. So that's gonna stay with us on embarkation day. That'll go in my embarkation day backpack or bag, probably bag, which I'll show you in a minute. And then we have our trusty travel on tech organizer. It's really tiny, but it holds a ton. So in here, I have a backup battery for our phones, an Apple watch charger, headphones, and a couple of charging bases. That is a wonderful thing to have. And you can just use this in your car or on road trips in between cruises, it's great. I also packed some Tide Pods because Princess has laundry and this will save me some money, about probably about five or six dollars worth of detergent that I only paid maybe, I don't know, I probably paid less than that. So this should be good. There's nine pods in this and I got this in the sample aisle at Target. I also have a wet swimsuit bag. I almost always take one of these on a cruise if we're going to a beachy destination, which we are, and I forgot to tell you guys where we're going, I'm sorry. Going on Royal Princess to the Mexican Riviera, 
Cabo San Lucas, Mazatlan, and Puerto Vallarta. So this is great. Keeps your wet swimsuit separate from everything else in your backpack or your bag. If you have a late flight on your um, debarkation day and you're staying at a resort or something like that, you can swim and then this can go in your suitcase on the flight and your swimsuits will not get anything else wet. I swear by these. This is a Wander wet bag and I'll link to it below. We have a dis uh, discount code for you. Um, next up, I have a trusty little travel hamper. These are great for cruises. Longer cruises, they're really, really nice. Shorter cruises, you may not need them. I actually have, all of my jewelry is going in this. This is a family travel organizer from Natasha's 31 store. Again, I'll link to it in the description. Super cute. I haven't moved my jewelry into it yet. It's currently in this jewelry roll, which looks like this, but I wanna switch into this new one for this cruise because it's fun and new and I have room in my bag. But this is what this jewelry roll looks like. So I have a lot of bracelets and necklaces and things like that in there. And I have a matching cosmetics bag and I'll be transferring all of my cosmetics bags into this 31 um, cosmetics bag that matches this tropical cute um, hanging organizer. I also have my sunglasses and this bag that came with my Mia Tui mini gen that I'll be packing on this cruise. This bag came with my mini gen from miatui.com and I ended up using it as my all the time carry it around the ship kind of mini purse. It's so handy, it has a detachable strap and on the inside is this bright blue color and it fits just the things you need like a cell phone, lipstick, that's pretty much all I really need. So that's gonna be going with me. That'll be for formal night, for walking around the ship. It's just one little mini purse for the whole trip and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna pop everything back in here, get it out of the way, and then I'm going to show you all one last toiletry item. Since we're not flying, I went ahead and pre-purchased our sunscreen. This is really crinkly, so I'm not gonna hold it up for very long, but you'll see that we have a bunch of sunscreen in here for our cruise, and this over here that I'm pointing to is some hand soap from Bath & Body Works. It's called Give Thanks, and it's a nice, holiday spicy kind of a blend for Thanksgiving since we're going on a Thanksgiving cruise. Now, I don't always take my own hand soap on a cruise, you guys. When we're flying, that will be out of the question, but since we're driving to port and it's a holiday cruise, I wanted to splurge and have some nice smelling soap in my room. I don't like those little bars. They get gooey and icky and gross, and I just love having something that's nicely scented. So now we're gonna talk about bags and clothes. Now, Mr. Cruise Tips TV and Junior's clothes are already packed. We've shown their clothes several times before and they don't change a lot. So if you wanna go back and watch one of our older videos where we show their shirts and things, you can, but today it's mostly gonna be my stuff. This is the Mia Tui uh, Mini Gen travel bag that I'm gonna take. This is excellent for flights. What I like the most about this though is that it goes, it has this, um, this um, gosh, I don't even know what it's called, this flap that goes over the handle on your carry-on suitcase. So even though I'm not flying, I've become addicted to not having to carry a backpack all the time. And it again has that beautiful blue interior. So we have a 10% off discount for this as well that I'll link to, but I'm in love with this rose gold mini gen. And I'll be using that on embarkation day so that I don't have too much on my back. One thing I'm not showing you today that will be in our embarkation day bags as well, we will have an embarkation day carry-on that we keep with us. We're gonna be taking some soda. So I'll be taking some bubbly or LaCroix and Mr. Cruz Tips TV will be taking Diet Coke or Dr. Pepper. So that's gonna take up one half of an entire carry-on bag. And then when we come home, it'll just be empty or the bags will be lighter, however you wanna say it. But we are taking soda this time. Can't remember the last time that I carried soda on a cruise but happy to be doing it again because we did not purchase a soda package on this one. So I just want, we want nice fizzy canned soda to have. I'm also taking this little beach day bag. Again, a splurge, a non-minimalist splurge. I love this bag. It's bright, it's beautiful. I've probably had it for 10 years, but it's great for popping a few beach towels in and for heading to the beach or just for lazing around by the pool. Love it. I'm also taking this teeny tiny crossbody bag. I wouldn't take this if I was going carry-on only and that little purse, it would be too much. But like I said, friends, we're going a little crazy on this one. Okay, let's talk about some of the fun things that I've purchased for this cruise. Not all of my clothes 
are hanging up here, but I wanted to show you some of the highlights because for the most part, my packing cubes are already packed. So this packing cube here has underwear, bras, and socks. This one is swimwear and cover-ups, and then this is everything else except dresses. So the bottom packing cube has things in it like um, my exercise wear, my jeans, um, a sweatshirt or two because this is definitely a cooler weather time of year to be cruising. And when we're, our sea days will be chilly is basically what I'm trying to say. So packing cubes are packed. These are Junior's packing cubes and his backpack. We're not even gonna go into detail on those today because you guys have seen it so many times. But that's that. Oh, and Mr. Cruise Tips TV's um, traditional set of three e-bags packing cubes right there. Those are the medium set and they're fully packed. Formal wear is in there, several pairs of shorts. He wears hybrid shorts, the kind that you can wear as shorts or you can wear as swimwear. He's got jeans, dinner shirts, things like that. No sport coat on this one, but he does have a nice tie and a vest for formal nights. So that's kind of what's going on there. And our suitcases will show you just a little bit later in the video. So I wanna start with the dress that I'm wearing right now. I actually just got this dress on Amazon of all places. And I'm going to link to it below, but it's got really fun little bell sleeves. It's off the shoulder, which you know I love. Full disclosure about this dress, it is completely open from here to like right above the belly button. So I had to safety pin it shut. Now, if I was wearing it as like a swimsuit cover up, I wouldn't safety pin it shut. It would be no big deal, but I intend to wear it just around the ship. So I safety pinned that sucker and it fits like a dream. It is true to size. I'm five foot zero, so for me, it fits perfectly. If you're tall or if you're normal height, I'm sorry, but I'm very short. Five foot zero is, is a little on the petite side. Um, you might find that it's a bit short. This actually hits me above the knee, which is really, really rare. So be prepared if you buy this dress and I will link to it below. But for 29 bucks, not bad. Um, I also got this new bikini at Target. It is a shade, I think it's called shade to shore brand, um, shade and shore. And it's really fun and cute. And it pairs beautifully with my new rip skirts. Now these were sent to me from a company called Rip Skirt Hawaii. And I'm gonna show you two different prints. And they're, they remind me of board shorts, but they're skirts, they're not skorts. And they have Velcro that um, you use to adjust where they sit on your hips. So you can wear them a little higher or a little lower and make them as loose or as tight as you want. They're super flattering. They cover the tush, if you have a tush, which we all do, right? And they have beautiful prints. So again, this is Rip Skirt Hawaii. This is length number one. They also have a longer length, number two, and more of a, I would say it's kind of a calf to ankle length, which is length number three. And you can just go check out their website or their beautiful Instagram page where they show real everyday women wearing these skirts. And again, it's Rip Skirt Hawaii. Don't you guys think that this looks really cute with this? I love the two of them paired together. So I'm planning on wearing that bikini with that skirt. Rip Skirt Hawaii also sent me something that is so fun and on trend, and it is this boyfriend beach shirt. This is really in right now, you guys, for the ladies to wear like a boyfriend shirt to the beach with the sleeves rolled up. So this is a size medium large. They didn't have any more smalls, so I ended up getting this one, and it's really cute to just wear open over a bikini or over a swimsuit on the beach. It gives you a little bit of modesty, but I'm telling you, you're gonna see these everywhere at the beach right now, and the fabric is amazing. It is extremely thin, so it's not a like a really thick cotton shirt. It's 100% poly, machine wash, tumble dry, and just really, really fun and different. So I'm gonna use that as a beach cover-up. I also have this really cute off-the-shoulder top that I got from one of my Fashion boxes. Um, Fashion is a styling service that I absolutely love, and I'll put it in the description. I have these white denim shorts from Old Navy. They're kind of cuffed and cute, and I have a few more shirts that I might pair with that. I just haven't decided yet. Now, I also wanted to show you the pink version of the dress that I'm wearing right now. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it. I think it's really cute, but this is what it looks like. And as you can see, this is a good um, demonstration of how open it is in the front and how you might wanna tack it or safety pin it shut if you're wearing it for everyday use. But if you're wearing it as a swim cover up, I say don't worry about it, obviously. Cute little bell sleeves and 29 bucks, you guys. It's so cute. So these are great, I love them. 
And then you may remember this dress. This is a free people dress that I got on the clearance rack at Macy's a few months ago. Um, it's actually great for beach days because it is cottony, really fun billowy sleeves. And then this is a dress that I plan on wearing for formal night. This is a bar three from Macy's and it has cute little shoulder detail. Hopefully we'll be able to show you what I'm wearing on the cruise. You might remember this formal dress from another cruise. This is from Express, has beautiful back detail. Unfortunately, it's been sold out for quite some time, but that's another formal night dress. This is actually a tunic that I'm gonna wear as a dress from Macy's. They may still have them in stock. If they do, I'll put a link, but it has cute lace detail on the bottom. I don't think I can get it high enough where you can see it, but cute lace detail around the bottom. So you could wear this as a tunic with leggings, but I plan to wear it as a dress to dinners, nice and cool. And then I have this really pretty kimono style dress that I've had for about three years. I got this at Nordstrom Rack. It's, the brand is called CAD, I don't know what it stands for, but it's so comfortable and it can be very dressy. I might even wear this for one of the formal nights, I haven't decided. And then this little guy here is my good old express off the shoulder tropical dress that I've literally worn on every cruise for the past five years. I can't get rid of it, I love it. It's so comfortable and cottony and it dresses up or down perfectly. So those are the dresses that I am taking. And I think that's the great majority of what we wanted to show you kind of hands on today. We're leaving in, gosh, about a week. So chances are there's probably a few things that I've forgotten. One of the great things about doing videos like this and packing about a week or two before your cruise is that if you forget something, you can figure it out. So I'm gonna go back and check my checklist and see if there's anything that I've left off. Um, if you see anything that I've left off, leave it in the comments below. But stick around for just another moment and we are going to show you how we pack everything into the suitcases and what our shoes look like. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please be sure to follow our Royal Princess Cruise. You're gonna to wanna to be over on Instagram following Cruise Tips TV and Facebook because we're gonna do live stories from the cruise and tons of great pictures of the ship, our family experience, our Thanksgiving experience, and the ports of Puerto Vallarta, Cabo San Lucas, and Mazatlan. So be sure to follow along and let us know if you have any awesome packing tips in the comments below. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.